everyone. My name is John Paul. Welcome to Fat Loss Cooking Channel. For today's episode, I will modify the recipe for Top Ramen Noodles. So if you are wondering if why on earth am I featuring Top Ramen Noodles in my channel, well, let's simply put it this way. In real world scenario, people eat it anyway. College students, people who are on a very tight budget, eats it so we cannot change that fact now since people perceive ramen noodles as a junk food I would increase I would improve its macronutrient profile well I mean in reality instant ramen noodles is perceived as bad food simply because it's very low in protein it's almost just um, refined starch with plenty of um, cheap oils in it. This is why I'm going to show you a method how to make your instant ramen a complete nutrition. The first ingredient, of course, you will need a packet of any instant ramen noodles. Now, since instant ramen noodles are naturally high in calories, the key here is portion control. Take note, that most instant ramen noodles is about is containing about two servings each so any any nutritional information that are written on the label you need to multiply that by two but anyway this recipe is going to be good for two people and also you will need two whole eggs you will also need four ounces of fresh cut cabbage and about an ounce of shredded carrots feel free to use any vegetables of your choice but the best vegetables to be used in this instant ramen noodles is either cabbage or chinese broccoli now start boiling about two and a half cups of water so basically you are going to cook your instant ramen noodles just like the way you prepare it by the way, this recipe is highly customizable depending on your own preference. So let's say you are using a chicken flavored ramen noodles. So you may use some leftover chicken from a leftover roasted chicken, let's, let's say for example. And also you may also use some frozen shrimps if your preferred um, noodles of choice is shrimp flavored. Now you will boil the noodles along with the chopped cabbage. Now after about 3 minutes or once the noodles starts to become tender enough, you will add the seasoning. Stir it. And crack the eggs on there. You may also wish to add boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs instead of um, cracking the eggs if you prefer it that way but personally I prefer cracking the eggs because it mimics the egg drop soup somehow. Now once it's cooked top it off with some shredded carrots and some chopped scallions. Personally, I like putting Tabasco and Worcestershire sauce on my instant ramen noodles simply because it tastes better. Now, as far as the numbers are concerned, the total calorie content of our better instant ramen noodles based on two servings came up to 278 calories with 12 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbohydrates with 2 grams of fiber. See, this... Um, better ramen modification allowed me to to add additional protein and fiber and as, um, like what i've said earlier the key here is portion control and since the recipe is highly customizable you may also wish to increase the protein simply by adding some leftover meat from something else now if you are enjoying my cooking videos Please subscribe, share my channel, 
and make sure to leave me some comments or feedbacks for future recipe suggestions. Again, my name is John Paul. I will see you in the next episode of Fat Loss Cooking Channel.